Just waiting for my ride. Anna, you have any idea where my where my ride could be? Whoa. I like a woman. You're ruining my scene. Take two and action. I like a woman in a sweet truck. You always drive trucks this awesome? Yes, only when I carry a ladder. You have a ladder? No, but I need one to get out. I had to come get the big horse, because it's not raining yet, but it's going to be. A couple of pretty good chunks of mud came off the river after I pulled out of the field. Right on the state highway, so I'm going to run up and shovel it off, get it out of there, just because we don't want any issues with that. There. Hate to see somebody get into that. I don't know, if it's gonna rain, that stuff gets pretty smeary, and it's not good to leave that stuff on the road, so got that handled. Get her. Now I can put in fuel and head south. Everything looks good here. Mulcher looks good, tires look good. It's got shear bolts on the shanks. All those look good. We do carry a bunch of those in the cab. We usually fix one or two a day. Doesn't take long. Looking good, looking good. Good. Sure is gloomy out this morning. We're not the only guys around here with down corn having to combine one direction with two machines just to try to get the stuff out. Farmers always taking up the roads out here. That explains the gloominess. My gosh. Now there is a drain tile riser right here. Combine operator tore the flag through, ran over the cage. Obviously, I was not operating. This is difficult to do with one hand because I have to hold a camera for you guys. Here, maybe my camera crew will take it. Here, guys. Hey, thanks for handling that for me, camera crew. I can't do it with one hand. Fixed. I almost went down. When your guys are here in the field, um, do you want to just drive the river over here and then we can switch? Yeah, when I get to the west end here, I'll pick up and come over. I've got some company. I got to deal with this guy now. <laughs> How you doing, sir? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? How's it look like the stock stompers are doing, Eric? This is exactly what we want. It's laying those stocks over. Yep. It's fracturing them all the way around the stock. Just snaps them so that they Just fold up. Them. Yep. Yep. The, so. This combine, actually, this 780 that we're running right now, it only had a season and a half on it when I bought it, and we had new tires put on it before we bought it because there was damage from the from the actual corn stalks. Eric, one of the rules with being a YouTuber is you got to do what you got to do to get the best shot possible. Oh sure. All right. You think this is uh, avoids any uh, OSHA? We're just rules, not, regulations. We're not going to ask them. We okay. No. If you really want to get risky with it, you take an Instagram and a video at the same time. Let's go kick him out of there. He's got to stretch his knee anyway. You ever been in a green combine? I haven't. Oh, they're impressive. Good luck. All right, see ya. This guy really loves his Maywest G4 stock stompers footage. He's a weird dude. Yeah, just in the last round here, the snouts have gotten 
they're, I mean, it's not like they're soaked, but they're, they're fully damp. I'll be out, maybe make another round or two at the most and then check them and see. And for it, the dust is still flying off the plants, but that might not last long here. Seven with this rain coming and about four rounds to go. Let's go four and a half here, maybe closer to five. Doing a good job is not nearly as critical when it's starting to rain. Quality goes out the window. <laughs> yeah. It's actually raining out here a lot more than I thought it was. They're mostly clean for now. If we had 30 acres left, I'd stop, but we have like four rounds. Short rounds even, so it's not even like a full four rounds. I gotta sit in the seat until everything quits spinning or this one yells at me. Oh, it's wet out here. That pile moved. I think I'll just keep risking it. Ah, oh, these, these Gen Xers. Are you Gen X, Eric? What's up? Are you a Gen Xer? You guys are just always on your GoPros. God, we got work to do. We got our final few rows here. I got a strong feeling that I should not have kept going, but when you got to finish the field and you get desperate, you do what you've got to do. It's ugly. We made a mess out of things, but we got it done. Nice mess. Nice mess. A lot of corn stuck in there. Those folding hoppers are really nice for when you're going to leave the, leave the thing in a field somewhere. Is he just gonna pull into this field here? You could, huh? Yeah. Is... That arm's too long, you can't get it to the ground. It is too long. Oh, there's something I know a little bit about. What kind of stock stomper is this? That is the all new design stock stomper. It's a snow stomper. Snow stomper. Well, that ends the day. Got a little more done. What do you do? Hey, gee, Zach, you think we should go to the bar or something? It's actually not a terrible idea. You are so wise. Are you all staying warm? Afternoon, Jim. I think so. He tell you DTN is showing two inches of rain again yeah, mid next yeah, week. Quit swearing on the camera. Well, <laughs> just letting you know. Just in case he hadn't told you. Dad is already down with the combine. He has made a round or two. He's got the grain cart to dump into, but Jim is gonna bring the first truck down. I'm gonna stay back a little bit here, fuel up this truck, put some fuel in the Thunder Creek so that we've got fuel for everything. We got Josh coming and we're gonna get this whole cycle moving again. We had in the last 48 hours, almost another inch of rain and we were muddy to begin with. So here we are. After a full summer of drought, we have now had at least 16 inches of rain here in the last about five, maybe six weeks. Too much. We're muddy and it's going to get worse. It sounds like in four or five days from now, so today is Friday. Wednesday, coming around here, we've got an 80% chance of about two more inches of rain. We are going to fight like crazy to get everything done that we can before Wednesday hits. Combining shouldn't be a problem. We've got under 200 acres of corn left. Should not be an issue. Tillage is where we're really gonna have to go at it hard here. We're gonna get the strip tiller running uh, and we're gonna keep everything moving as much as we possibly can. Full enough. I can't do this any longer. We're gonna need to make a little bit of room in the dryer. So we're gonna fire that up as well.
more fueling. That one's gonna take a while, because that baby holds almost a thousand gallons, and it's dang near empty. Where do you want to start? I like the Donnie Shots shirt. That is nice. Those are overrated. Huh? You could use it for like a chamois or something, I suppose. To... <laughs> Figure whatever I clean up now is less to clean up later. Constantly burning diesel, huh, Anna? You got a scratch there, scratch an itch. Did you get it? You need, you need, no? Hey, did you? He said it's not too money for the combine, huh? No, it ain't bad at all. He said he's floating pretty good. Even the car's coming out, I mean, it's, you know, the top inch is funny, but oh, is it? I've seen it a lot worse. Yeah. Um, I got fuel running right now. I'd say the trailer's half full. Jim's dumping now. I just tested and we're under 17% out of that truck. From the next load. Okay, yeah, Jim just took off with the empty truck and then uh, I'll head down right now with the Thunder Creek to get fueled up. Oh, we're getting there. Are you up to no good? Yeah. All right, enjoy it. Okay. okay. It's really weird. It's sunny out here. Is it yielding 240, 250? 200 in a few spots. 200 in a few spots. 90 in a bunch of other spots. Oh, okay, well. I think the average is 130 or so right now. Pretty typical for it, this year. Yeah. Yeah, that chain gets in the way, doesn't it? I did that for you guys. You see how far I had to walk? Now the combine got empty so he can keep going. We're gonna shoot a little diesel into Jim's rig here real quick. And that way we keep this whole operation moving. like a well-oiled machine. Gotta switch a bit here. I know a lot of this stuff starting to seem kind of repetitive, but we're in a home stretch now. The strip pillar is gonna be different for a few days. We're gonna get that moving. I'm just excited we are to the point that we are. And we're like, at least a couple weeks early compared to average. Suppose I'll shovel some more crud. We have a lot of chemistry, chemicals left over from this last summer. Mostly because we didn't spray for soybean aphids, which left some fungicides and some other stuff here. Speaking of chemicals, for the farmers out there, we all kind of know that next year's a little bit iffy when it comes to supply. FBN, Farmers Business Network, is having their annual Cyber November sale, which starts November 1st. You gotta be a member, membership is free. Uh, you can actually go to the link that is below. It is a custom link. Thank you, Sunday, for giving us the custom link of Zach Vember, apparently, is what she wanted to call that. But anyway, it's the best deals of the season on chemistry. It's directly delivered right to your farm. They've got 0% financing available, 5% cash discounts. November 1st is when it all starts. That's the time to do it. Get it early, get it done, guarantee yourself some chemistry for next year. again. 
I am going to shut the dryer down, potentially, quite potentially, for the last time this season. Which I am actually very happy about. Even though running the dryer this year has probably been the easiest year to run a dryer, maybe in my life. Two off. It's so quiet. And it's a beautiful time of night. Our plan now is that we are down to not a lot of corn left, probably 120 acres or so, and it's all very dry. So we're gonna put it in the wet bin, small bin with a big fan. We're gonna basically dry it down. Hopefully it will dry down with the cooler temps we've got. It's supposed to be 26 or seven degrees tonight. It should still dry down. Then we're gonna throw it in the back bin there. And uh, I mean, I, I don't think we're gonna be running the dryer anymore. Just to get a bit of a head start on this thing. And by head start, I mean very, very last minute. Uh, I'm gonna swing it over to the shop and put on the anhydrous line that we finally got that we needed. I wonder why he just switched trucks. 2.0, we got a problem with the peat? No, we're just gonna drive in the field now and your dad said the can run do better. That makes sense. You know what? This rig could use a little diesel. I what? Dropped, I dropped the big buck in his tracks. He didn't go a yard. The he, big buck? I think so, yeah. For real? I think, I think it was a decent buck. It was, I'm not kidding, I dropped him in his tracks. He's out there in the field He's now? Going, yes. Well, hang on, let's. Okay, hang, all right. Oh, foot. Say that again? I smoked him, he didn't go a foot. Oh boy. No, we're already to the floor, me and you're good. I just say keep going here. Straight back here. <laughs> There he is. How do you feel about that, Onyx? Oh, great. Great? Yeah. <laughs> I had photos of him since July almost. Yeah. On the trail camera up there. Yeah. Did you have a name for him? You did, right? Handles. Handles. Yeah. Why handles? Ah, uh, not really a reason. No reason? No. Well, he's all yours now, huh? Yeah. That's the one. That's the one we've been watching. That's the one. I remember especially because this one's taller than this one. Got him across the hay field here from the stand back there, about 100 yards, 105 yards or so. My 20 gauge. Using the 20 gauge uh, Remington, 870 Youth. Yep. Got a Vortex scope on her. Any any sponsors you want to thank? Um, CNA Pro Skis. <laughs> Vortex scopes. There you go. Um, Remington. And this guy. And this guy. Yep. Thanks, buddy. We'll respect you, huh? Yeah. We'll have some venison steaks now. <laughs>